cab driver is afraid of this place. People are afraid of Transylvania because they believe all those stories about vampires, werewolves, witches, and ghosts. Do you believe in them? Well, I think the stories are fun, but they're just stories. They're not real. And that's where the stories about vampires started. Castle Bran. That's where we're going. Being in the castle will be like being in the story. How much fun is that? Oh no, you don't. If I'm going, you're going. That is so cool! A screaming doorbell. <laughs> it's it's just a doorbell that screams. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, forgot the lights. Oh, you startled us. We're here to see the castle. I'm Annie. This is Ben and Manco. Sure, come on in. I'm. Lead. This is so great, Vlad. I really like your cape. May I take a selfie with you? Sure. Hey, you're not in the picture. You're right. You can't take pictures of vampires. They're so silly. They think you're a vampire. But I am a vampire. Why do you think I live in this old castle and wear this cape? Are you gonna bite us? Drink our blood? We don't do that anymore. Tomato juice tastes better. Actually, I was going to invite you to my party. I never get any humans to come to my parties. This is my first. This doesn't look very scary. What's scary about having fun? Ben, I'd like you to meet my friend Bill. He's a werewolf. I am part of a pack. Would you like to join us? Why? Are you coming apart? Oh, wow! Werewolves like that joke! The back is gonna like you. Come on. Ben has a new friend. What a cute little monkey. You're a witch, right? It's a hat, isn't it? It always gives me away. I'm Camilla. I'm Annie. This is Mango. Can you do a magic spell, please? I've never seen real magic. Then you love this. Some mango magic. Kazam! <laughs> I think he likes his wings. <laughs> Best game of tag ever! Duck! I mean, winged monkey! Great! Mango's finally having fun! Hey, is there any bobbing for apples? Not exactly. Yeah, she got me! I'm first! Who's the shrunken head? I am! High five, teammate! Uh, you don't have any hands, or arms, or a body! Oh yeah, I always forget. Cannonball! 
from his fans. Thank you so much, Vlad. Yeah, that was fun. Everyone loved having you at the party. And so you will always remember us, your very own vampire cape. This is perfect. We'll never forget Transylvania. Thank you. That's a goodbye I'll never forget. why they called us the Black Forest. Yeah! It's lunchtime, but it's as dark as supper time. All the spookiest Grim Brother fairy tales happened here. You know, like Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, and Hansel and Gretel? They are just stories, right, Hanny? Of course! That's what fairy tales are, just stories. Wow! <laughs> It's a trail of breadcrumbs. Let's follow them and see where they go. Hey, Annie. Yes, Ben? Wasn't there a trail of breadcrumbs in one of the fairy tales you read us at bedtime? Yeah, it was in Hansel and Gretel. They followed a trail of breadcrumbs to... A witch's gingerbread house. Oh, I didn't think. <laughs> I thought it was you three. Camilla! Camilla! 
We haven't seen you since Vlad's party in Transylvania. They're still talking about what fun that party was when you three showed up. Are you the witch with the gingerbread house? From the fairy tale? No, that's my Aunt Agnes. She's on holiday, and I'm planning a surprise for when she comes back. We love surprises. Can we help? Mm. Actually, yes. I'm going to build my aunt a new house. A new house? Why? It looks great. <laughs> and Mango says it tastes good, too. Yes, my aunt makes delicious houses, but there's a problem with gingerbread. Oh my gosh, what happened? It rained. Gingerbread grows quite soggy when it's rained on. Are you going to use your magic? Make a new house appear? Can you do that? Uh, unfortunately, we witches have only one house spell, and it's for gingerbread and candy houses. Well, you've got plenty of trees for a new house. Oh, no. It's against witch law to cut down trees. Good. They're too beautiful to cut down anyway. So, what are you going to use to make the new house? Vegetables. Vegetables? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. A witch's vegetable garden is a very special place. How strange! This looks so different from the rest of the Black Forest. Actually, it's not part of the forest. Annie, this smells like a carrot. This is my auntie's vegetable garden. Wow, giant vegetables! <coughs> <coughs> We'd better get to work before Mango eats all the building stuff. This is going to take forever. Oh, I didn't think about this. We need the proper tools. Bigger shovels? No. <laughs> Bigger dog! Oof. All right, here comes the big dog. <laughs> I think Ben likes being a giant dog. But the spell will only last a few minutes. <laughs> That's good. I don't think I have enough dog food to feed a giant Ben. <laughs> oh, Camilla, this is a great idea. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be beautiful when they're done. <laughs> Onion skins will make fantastic windows. <laughs> well, once they're dry, <laughs> so will our eyes. <laughs> ah, these will make a great roof. Whoa! Ben's falling. I've got the perfect spell. Sappo. <laughs> Thanks, Mango. <laughs> Leave it to Mango to make work a game. We witches have always had a soft spot for flying monkeys. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Camilla? Yes, of course. We're friends. Well, in the fairy tale, the witch used the gingerbread house to catch children and... Uh, <laughs> cook them. I know, isn't that silly? We witches are all vegetarians. And my auntie invented that story and told it to the Grimm brothers to keep the children away. She doesn't like children? She likes them very much. That's why she wanted them to stay away. I don't understand. They were nibbling on her house. All that sugar gave them painful cavities in their teeth. Oh, that makes sense then. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, I think you could have. 
Mm. Yes, but it's so much more fun to have friends helping. <laughs> <laughs> we hate to leave, Camilla, but it's getting late. You can't leave without something to remember this by. Hey, our own vegetable house. <laughs> no nibbling, Mango. Thank you, Camilla. We had a great time. And now that we've built a vegetable house, let us leave. Get it? Let us leave. Let us leave. Oh, bad, bad joke. Actually, I found that very funny. <laughs> Get it? Very funny. Very funny. Woof, yes. Woof. Oh, good one. <laughs> Green zombie, green zombie, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Red vampire, red vampire, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Purple witch, purple witch, where are you? <laughs> here I am, here I am, how do you do? <laughs> yellow mummy, yellow mummy, where are you? Here I am, here I am. Blue skeleton, blue skeleton, where are you? <laughs> How do you do? Spooky family, scary family, where are you? Here we are, here we are, coming for you. our boat. We have to leave. Leave? But you just got here. Just got here. 
ghost! Ghost! Run! Hide in here! I hope this keeps him out. Arr, you found the dining room. I hope you're hungry. Ah, hungry! We don't need to be afraid. Scary ghosts don't invite you to dinner. Well, this looks delicious. I'm Annie. This is my dog, Ben. And that's Mango. Pleased to meet y'all. I'm Captain John. And this is me first mate and parrot, Susie. <coughs> Those are really light biscuits. All I've got is ghost food. I had to use a ghost banana to bring your monkey and you here. Why did you do that? Because I need your help. I've been trapped in this ghost fog for 500 years. It was back then that I lost me compass and got lost. My crew abandoned ship and cursed me to spend forever in this fog. It's this cursed fog that turned me and Susie into ghosts. And if you three can't help me out, you'll become ghosts too. I don't want to be a ghost dog. That's not going to happen. I always take my compass with me when I get on a boat. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I found a map of the ghost fog world. Comes with a curse, you know. A compass is the key to unlocking the map. Now we can find north. The magnetic needle on the compass always points north. Aye. Now we can sail out of the ghost fog. First things first, all hands on deck. Aye, aye, Annie. <laughs> OK, everyone keep an eye out. We're looking for an island or big rocks. Something on the map that tells us we're sailing to the way out. <laughs> it's an island. We're heading right for it. Good thing this is a ghost ship. A ghost island can sink a ghost ship. Hard port to the left. We're okay. High five. Well done, matey. Now that we're past the island... We have the rocks and the giant wave to get past. Rocks ahoy! Does the map show you the way through the rocks? Aye, that it does. We have to sail between those two rocks. Take the bow, Annie. The front of the ship. Tell me where to stare. To the right, Captain John. Too much. Back a little to the left. We made it! Wow, great job, Captain John. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the giant wave. Captain John, what are we going to do? We turn straight into the wave. It's our only chance. Ah, only chance. Into the wave? That doesn't sound right. Trust Captain John. He knows what he's doing, I hope. Whoa! I'm out of the fog. It's clear sailing. And you're not a ghost anymore. The curse is over. Clear sailing. 
That was so exciting. What are you going to do now, Captain John? Now that me and Susie are real again, we're going to sail the world. Ah, sail the world! For us, the ship from the dining table? Me and Susie want you to have it so you never forget our adventure at sea. We love it! Thank you, Captain John. Come on, Susie. Next stop, Jamaica. It's beautiful this time of year. Bon voyage! Bye! Bye! Bye. Goodbye! <laughs> We've got to get back to land, Annie. And you gave Captain John your compass. There's one in the cabin. Every modern boat has one. Uh -huh. The compass is pointing north, and so is Mango. He's not going to monkey around with directions. Ugh, that <laughs> joke, Ben. The worst jokes are the best jokes. Family, where 